Dexter, a fawn-colored French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. He eats food cooked especially for him, has four beds and countless tennis balls. Size small, of course. According to his human, Dexter enjoys eating, sleeping and sniffing. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning after his human leaves for work, Dexter puts on his detective hat, heads out onto the terrace, leaps onto the ledge and hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. Today, at the front of the line, is a German Rottweiler. Step right up! How can we help you? Well, you see, I'm a watchdog, but I have no one to watch. And I thought I might be of some assistance to the famous Detective Dexter. That is very kind of you. Hmm. Three is a trio. Four is a crowd. I'm sure we can find something for you to help with. I would be forever in your debt. I really need to keep these paws busy. Stand aside here, by Lily, and we will see what the day brings. Next? A cockapoo steps up. Hello, Dexter. I'm Barbara. It is lovely to meet you. Now, how can we help? Well, I'm sad because my friend, the hamster, he's gone. He followed the hamster from next door, down the stairs of our building, and right out the front door. He was my only friend, and I'm worried that Perhaps he's not okay. I want him to come home, and I think he might want to come home. We will help you and try to track him down. Were there are any places he like to go? No, he never left the apartment. What about this neighbor? Do you know anything about him? He's trouble, that one. Likes to go to all the spinning wheels competitions, and he sneaks out all the time. Okay, spinning wheels competitions. The Rollathon? I guess so, if that's what they're called. I just saw Pickles the other day. It's the off season, so there are no competitions right now. Anything else, Barbara? He always talked about the farmer's market. Said there was always good stuff falling, and sometimes he'd even sneak into the trucks and munch on some veggies, seeds, whatever there was. Said it was a gold mine. The one in Union Square? It's Wednesday, which means it's on. Let's go. They all head out toward 14th Street, Union Square. Should we set up surveillance? No. We will just look around for them. See if any friends have seen them. And trap them? No. We see if he even wants to come home. It's not up to us. It's up to Barbara to talk to him. Our job is to find him. That's all. I see. When they arrive, they find that there are trucks and vendors everywhere. Eggs, vegetables, meats, fish, honey, cheese, and even bagels. Peanut goes straight for them. Peanut! Oh, come on, Dax, just a bite. Also, it's next to the cheese, and Bob might be over there. All right. Peanut finds a fallen bagel under the truck. She shares with everyone. Friedrich does not partake. Something's up with that dude. We. Oui. Play it cool. Dexter and Peanut lead the way to the cheese stand. And sure enough, Bob the Beagle is there. Hi, Bob. How you guys doing? Long time no cheese. Bonjour, Bob. I see you haven't lost your puns. Nope. Still as cheesy as ever. <laughs> <laughs> you got any brie? Oh, do I have brie? Try this. Mm-hmm, this is good. This is good. Bob. We are looking for two hamsters. They might be running around collecting snacks. Oh yeah, they came here just a little while ago. Been here every time the market's open, too. Oh, we are so close. We will see, Barbara. Where are they headed? One of them said something about lettuce. There's a place right down there, see? With the yellow top, they got 12 different kinds of lettuce. My bad, that's where they went. Merci, Bob. Thanks, Bob. I'll be back for some more. Oh, you better. I got some Jarlsberg you're gonna love. Oh, Bob, you're the best. At the lettuce stand, 
there is a cat lounging in the back of the van. Excuse me, what's your name? Aharia. Nice to meet you. I'm Lily, and these are my friends. We're looking for two hamsters. Those two? They knocked over a container of romaine and went to town. Are they here? Look no further. Everyone turns, and there they are. Two hamsters munching on an enormous piece of romaine lettuce. Timothy! Barb! Oh, Timmy, I thought I'd never find you. Look at all this lettuce! It's great, but please take me home immediately. You don't want to stay with me? Haven't you been enjoying this? Yeah, but it's a temporary adventure, and I need a bath. Plus, I would have gone home after a few hours if I knew the way. I would have just shown you. I asked you three times to take me back, and you didn't. Sorry. Let's go home and get you in the bath bowl. Can I get some bubbles? Oh, I'm sure we can manage that. Climb on. Timothy climbs onto Barbara's back. Dexter and Peanut and Lily and Rottweiler, whose name I cannot remember. Thank you. Barbara takes off towards home. The other little hamster keeps munching. That's it? That's all? That's all. Tomorrow, another case. Okay. I'll come back tomorrow. It was nice watching you today. We will see you at the office. Dexter, Peanut, and Lily head home. Lily, remember we told you what happened while you were at the groomer? Oh, yes. During my spa day? Oui. Well, I believe that Friedrich may be one of the guardians. I think so, too. The way he looked at that cheese, he had no interest. But he was watching us like a hawk. Exactement. Something is up. Plus, the way he said it, nice watching you today, the more appropriate wording would have been nice working with you today. But he's not working with us. He's on surveillance. I think you're right, Double D. The hair on my back stood up the second I saw him. Mine too. He was too quiet. Mm, Let us pretend we know nothing. Let us welcome him and play it cool. When we know more, We will come up with a plan. Agreed. Okay, boss. Sounds good. 